Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we are going to show you how to install the 6WB cluster in an F10. Now, the F10 is very similar to the F15. Instead of taking two screws out, you're going to need two um, small tools. So what I like to do is I like to use pick tools and I wrap them in electrical tape and I'll show you why in just a minute. Now, when you're looking at the cluster underneath here, there's two clips that are gonna hold everything in place and it's the second little notch in. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our tools in here, then we're going to press down and there's a clip behind that I'm going to show you in just a minute. And then we're going to rock everything forward and I'll, I'll show you what to do from there. Now before you do this, it's always a good idea to drape some kind of microfiber towel over your steering wheel just so nothing gets scratched. But what you're going to do again, stick your, your tool in the second one and look for the second one on this side. And then what you can do is you can just pull it down, just press down with your thumbs and rock it down just like that. So here you can see a side view of that clip that we were loosening. So basically what you're doing is you're taking your tool, again what I like to do is I like to use a pick tool with some electrical tape to give it some bite. You stick it in that second slot through the hole and then what you're doing is you're pulling down and if you do this on the bare metal it would just slip right off. So the benefit of having the electrical tape is it gives it something to bite into. So you pull this down, it presses this down on both sides and then what you do is you just rock it out. Then continue to rock it out. You want to press in the bottom when you're starting to maneuver everything out and that's because there's a little hook and I'll show you that in just a second. Then just very carefully maneuver this out and release the cord that holds everything in place. This is going to give you just a lot more slack to work. Now I have this rotated upside down. You're going to just press in this tab, remove this clip. Now this car doesn't have heads up display so we can easily remove it now. And once again, with cars without heads up display, it's just one plug that looks just like this. Now with our new 6WB cluster, you can see that it has those same clips on here and it has that same connection right down here. You'll notice that on, on the 6WB, it actually has an extra connection. And what this is for is if you have a heads up display. So if you have a heads up display, connect that extra connection here. If not, don't worry about it. Just go with the big plug. All right, so now we're going to reinstall this in the reverse order that we removed it. Now, something to note with this is when you're taking out the bottom, just take note because there are these little hooks on the bottom. You need to make sure that you kind of scoop it and hook these underneath before you can rock it in place and secure everything. All right, now take that plug and plug it into the spot right here. It only goes in one way in one spot, so it should be pretty easy to identify. And what I like to do try to pass it through at an angle. Now while you're at this point, it's probably the best time to clip the wires into the back where you removed it before. All right, so continue to maneuver this in. Then as I was saying before, your cluster has these hooks on the bottom. So hook in the bottom like that press everything into place. All right, so at this point, the hardware is completely installed. And as you can see, just by reconnecting the battery, everything looks really cool. It's not fully functional yet, so now it comes for the coating. So in your package, you will see a coating interface. What you need to do is follow the link in the description, and that'll show you what you need to do to set up your coating appointment. So at this time, Beamer Tech is going to remotely coat the vehicle to enable the 6WB cluster. All right, at this point, everything is fully coated and fully functional. So let's check it out. So once, once again, this is what we started at. You can see it's just very plain, very basic. And let's take a look at what it looks like now. All right, so here is a look at the digital cluster now. So you can see that when we go into sport mode, the menu changes a little bit. Looks pretty cool with the digital display. This is the standard display when you're in comfort mode. And then last, Eco Pro turns a really cool color blue. You can see on the far left, you can see it gives you your, your fuel level. Down here, it'll actually give you your range on Eco Pro and Comfort Mode, which is really cool because you can always see that. Then you have your speedometer, your tack, and also your oil pressure. Now, if you're using navigation, one of the cool things is your navigation prompts will actually now display right in the center of the cluster. And by scrolling this wheel, it'll give you access to a couple new menus. 
Again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you are interested in a 6WB cluster for your car, be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching. As always, make sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.